Hi, good morning. I'm Sir Renante Armas, your science teacher. Our lesson for today is all about explaining how solar and lunar eclipses occur. Let us talk about the moon. When the moon is behind the earth, it still receives light from the sun because the moon's orbit is tilted at an angle to the Earth's orbit. And also the eclipse. On rare occasions, when the moon passes almost directly before or behind the Earth, an eclipse occurs. Let us talk about what is the definition of eclipse. An eclipse is an astronomical event which occurs when the moon and our planet Earth form a line with the sun. Fun fact, the word eclipse was derived from the Greek word for abandonment. The eclipse was seen as the sun leaving the Earth. Let us talk about first the lunar eclipse. When the alignment is such that the Earth is between the Moon and the Sun, a lunar eclipse occurs as you observe the picture below. When this happens, the Sun's light is blocked by the Earth from reaching the Moon. Because of this, you will see the Earth's shadow on the Moon. There are two parts of the shadow of Earth during a lunar eclipse. The first one, we have the penumbra, and the second one is the umbra. So, the penumbra is the outer, lighter part of the shadow. As uh, we observe the picture. And the umbra is the inner or darker part of the shadow. So there are types of lunar eclipse. Number one, we have the total lunar eclipse. Number two, the partial lunar eclipse. And number three, we have the penumbral lunar eclipse. So first one, the total lunar eclipse. It occurs when the moon passes entirely over the Earth's umbra. Meaning to say, it takes place when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, and its shadow covers the Moon. Eclipse watchers can see the Moon turn red when the eclipse reaches the totality. Number two, we have the partial lunar eclipse. It occurs when only a portion of the Moon passes over the Earth's umbra. Meaning to say, it occurs when the Earth moves between the Sun and Moon, but the three celestial bodies do not form a straight line and space. When that happens, a small part of the Moon's surface is covered by the darkest central part of the Earth's shadow called the umbra. Lastly, we have the penumbral lunar eclipse. It occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's penumbra. So what, what does it mean? It is a lunar eclipse that occurs when the moon becomes completely immersed in the penumbral cone of the Earth without touching the umbra. The path for the moon to pass within the penumbra and outside the umbra is very narrow, as you observe the picture below. So remember, we have the three types of lunar eclipse. Number one, we have the total lunar eclipse. Number two, the partial lunar eclipse. And the number three, we have the penumbral lunar eclipse. After the Lunar eclipse, let us talk about the solar eclipse. 
So, when the alignment is as such that the moon is between the earth and the sun, a solar eclipse occurs. So, based from the picture, the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So, when this happens, part or most of the sun's light is blocked. The sky slowly gets dark as the moon moves in front of the sun. So, there are four types of solar eclipse. Number one, the total solar eclipse. Number two, the partial solar eclipse. Number three, the annular solar eclipse. Number four, we have the hybrid solar eclipse. Let us uh, talk about the total solar eclipse. It occurs when the moon completely covers the sun as seen from the earth. So, meaning to say the total solar eclipse, it occurs when the dark silhouette of the moon completely obscures the, the intensely bright light of the sun, allowing the much painter solar corona to be visible. During any one e eclipse, totality occurs at the best only in a narrow track on the surface of Earth. This narrow track is called the path of totality. Number two, we have the partial solar eclipse. Occurs when the moon's penumbral shadow falls on the Earth's surface. So, during this event, uh, during a partial solar eclipse, the moon, the sun, and the earth don't align in a perfectly straight line. And the moon casts only the outer part of its shadow, the penumbra on earth. This looks like the moon has taken a bite out of the sun. So partial solar eclipse, only a part of the sun is covered by the moon, thus appearing like there is a bite out of the sun, as we observe based from the picture. Number three, we have the annular solar eclipse. It occurs when the apparent size of the moon is smaller than that of the sun, and only the center of the sun is covered by the moon. So, during the annular solar eclipse, it happens when the moon covers the sun's center, leaving the sun's visible outer edges to form a ring of fire or annulus around the moon. There is a formation of ring. Lastly, we have the hybrid solar eclipse. Uh, based from the picture, um, the direction of the moon's orbit, it is the most peculiar and rare type of solar eclipse. Uh, it's seen first as an annular eclipse and then changing into a total solar eclipse along its path. It is also called as annular or total eclipse. It shifts between a total and annular eclipse. At certain points on the surface of Earth, it appears as a total eclipse, whereas at other points, it appears as annular. Hybrid eclipses are comparatively rare. So, there is a change in the direction from annular changing into a total solar eclipse along its path. So, uh, as a review, we have four types of solar eclipse. We have the total solar eclipse. Number two, we have the partial solar eclipse. Number three, we have the annular solar eclipse. Number four, we have the hybrid solar eclipse. So, as a summary, an eclipse occurs when the sun is in a perfect line with the earth and the moon.
we have the solar eclipse occurs when the moon is between the earth and the sun. During the solar eclipse, the moon is between the earth and the sun. How about the lunar eclipse? Lunar eclipse occurs when the earth is between the moon and the sun. Remember, lunar eclipse, the earth is between the moon and the sun. So, that is our lesson for this day and I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Thank you everyone.